So next up, we have Isaac Farley. He's our new support manager. Um, so a few people have called him the new Patricia, but he's not. He's way taller. And <laughs> he also, he, he's, he's got a, a, more of a publishing background, which is great. And, and he's bringing a lot of good ideas on open support, and that is what he's going to talk about. Um, all right. Thanks, Patricia. Happy to be here. Good afternoon. My name is Isaac Farley, and I'm the new Crossref Support Manager. For those of you who don't know me, I started in April, and as Patricia said, I came from one of our members, the Society of Exploration Geophysicists in Oklahoma, and I'm based there. I'm very happy to be with you here today. Um, so today, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about how we plan to move from one-on-one -on -one support um, to an open, centralized, and shared community resource. We'll be rolling out this active and interactive space in the next few months, and some of you may have already been contacted by myself or one of my peers uh, to help us get everything uh, prepared, get, get everything ready. And so we see this open community space as an extension of our of our truths, and this is something that Ed talked about this morning. This is a place, we see this as a place where all members will share and grow together uh, through collaboration, where the community can rally around shared ideas and play or explore uh, with new tools, uh, all with the end goal of enriching and exchanging metadata. Perhaps we have a, a, an unofficial hashtag for that, as Patricia kind of indicated this morning, uh, no legless zebras, hashtag no legless zebras, so maybe we can start, <laughs> start using that. Um, anyway, so this, this new community forum will be open and transparent. And so where do we start with this vision of shared open community support? Um, we, we already have a solid foundation on which to build. Um, today we have, uh, uh, committed and passionate ambassadors around the world who will ask to help us spread this word. Um, and any of you who have ever been on our website knows that we have extensive documentation. Um, if you need to find information on multiple resolution or our APIs or need XML samples, all of that stuff is there. Um, and I'll just leave it at extensive for right now. I'll talk a little bit more about the documentation uh, in, a, in a minute. but. Um, uh, so those of you who've reached out to, to staff to support, you know that when we're doing our best, you get personalized, friendly, and, and timely support from our skilled staff. So um, there are three of us. Shane, who's in the back, back there in the uh, unscheduled, unscheduled maintenance, he's waving. Um, Paul, who's out of our Oxford, UK office, and myself, I'm, I'm stationed in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we do that through multiple communication channels, uh, through email, where we get the majority of our support questions, uh, through Twitter, through GitHub. Um, and, and we do our best to, to provide excellent answers to your questions. Um, but we think an open support model that is designed for support for, by, and from many is better for the community than one-to-one -one private exchanges. That said, we can't completely abolish this one-on-one -on -one support model. In some cases, uh, proprietary reasons or password resets, things like that, um, there's going to be a need for that one-on-one -on -one mechanism. Um, but we believe that exposing some of these interactions, exposing many of these in interactions um, will benefit from everyone being able to see the questions, examples, answers, case studies. Um, so this all sounds great, right? Um, but what are others doing in this space right now that we can learn from? So in the last few weeks, I have interviewed my peers at several sister organizations to see how they handle open community support. I was fortunate to visit with uh, my counterparts at Public Knowledge Project, OJS, uh, Wikimedia Foundation, Relawan Journal Indonesia, which is one of our sponsoring organizations, our Open Sci and Orchid. Uh, James and Mike in the back there from PKP, thanks so much for your time last week. I, I really appreciated it. Um, and the, I learned some valuable lessons, and, and this is what I found. The foundation of how we educate and communicate 
to our users and members is through the documentation. So it needs to be extensive, it needs to be organized, it needs to be as simplified as it can be. In order for any new support model to flourish, the, the second point here, we must invest in it. We must train and onboard our staff and volunteers. We must encourage all of you to try it and then encourage you some more. Uh, and then we, all of us, need to be present and visible and active and interactive in that space that we've created. The third thing is, uh, and, and this was definitely, definitely came out of my uh, discussions with PKP and ORCID, is that there's a lot of opportunity for us to cross over, connect, um, and, and for all of you to benefit from those connections and those interactions. And so um, I see that happening for all five organizations and many others that are not listed here who I have not interviewed yet. Um, but, but, but I see that benefiting our members, our missions, uh, and then again leading to richer metadata. Um, so uh, through all of these interviews, we've, we've agreed that we will try to find a balance, we'll try to connect, um, cross over, and give back to each other. And lastly, within this space, we want to be kind and inviting and flexible um, and make sure that the community that we cultivate also does that. Um, there are no stupid questions, um, and we have to cultivate that culture that, that welcomes all. And our community needs to be easy to find and use. So what can you expect from us in 2019? Um, I'd like to invite all of you to to make that open community, this forum, a place where you can seek out answers, pose questions, and tag colleagues and friends. Um, Laura Wilkinson, my colleague, uh, the, the, our new education manager, she started uh, shortly after I did, is, is kind of leading on this Crossref curriculum and member life cycle front. Um, she's organized an education task force. Maybe some of you in the room are on that education task force. Um, the goal is to revamp our documentation again with the idea of making it organized and simplified, and easy to use, easy to find. Um, look for more details on that front soon. Um, and, and so this documentation and this open community will, will serve this kind of holistic space uh, where we believe we'll help you uh, get the best answers consistently again, resulting in, in the richest possible metadata um, from all of you. And we've already begun to see the community with examples, um, so please feel free to take a look at the community. It's, it's uh, online there at the link, and I'll, I'll click here in a second, uh, community.crossref.org, and join us in that space in, in 2019. Um, our goal is to provide good support, or excuse me, providing good support takes time, training, resources, and organizational commitment. But greatness requires more, uh, and we're looking forward to seeing you all in that space and learning together. So I wanted to just quickly show, let's see how this works here, uh, the community, and just some of the foundational things we've done here. So you can see there's a space for technical support, and between now and the end of the year, I'm going to seed this space with uh, some additional topics, but we've already put, put in uh, a few um, common questions and what we think are good samples of, of uh, uh, questions and comments, and you can see many of them have, have already been shared and viewed. Uh, so feel free to poke around in here, play with it as you like, come back, ask questions, connect. Um, we're looking forward to that. And so we have a space for OJS users. Um, we'll quick, we'll uh, soon be inviting many of the ambassadors to be uh, our first test cases here, and then you'll see more communication about this space in early 2019. Uh, let me see, how do I go? Cool. Thank you. And here's how you can connect with me. You can find me today at support at crossref.org. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. You can find us on GitHub. You can post your question in the community, and I'll find it there. And you can find us today here in the back corner, unscheduled, unscheduled maintenance. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.